against rank 97 Will. And that is a Zamazenta in top 100. Just straight up a Zamazenta. That's that's crazy. Um, despite that, I think the Sacred Lead does just fine here. Definitely want my Groudon, and I kind of want to go Incineroar, but I also think Venusaur has a decent chance of being great in this matchup. But I'm fairly certain I'm just going to end up Dynamaxing the um, the Thunderous like turn one if it's a positive lead for me. So Venusaur is going to stay home when I'm bringing the Incineroar. Every time I hear about physics or English major homework, I'm just thankful that I'm neither. What are you? What 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 is your major? If you're studying right now, I think uh, Zamacenta is way better and restricted than and double restricted than single. Yeah, no, I definitely agree. Uh, it's it's like a support restricted at heart, and I think it'd be really good in non Dynamax. To be honest, I think Zamazenta gets screwed over by Dynamax, despite the fact that it's a hard counter, and that's mainly because close combat just isn't as potent. And yeah. Uh, I think that, like, in, in future formats, Zamazenta plus Xerneas could be a decently strong combo. However, Zacian's probably going to be better. You want to know what my motivation is for doing good in every one of my classes this semester? My motivation is knowing that when I finish this, if I do good and I get a job, I can move out, get my own apartment with two bedrooms so one of them can be an office and I can stop having my home gym, my streaming setup, and my bedroom be the same 10 by 10 foot place, you know? That's that's what it's all about. That That's, that's all it's all about, you know? All right, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that they want to go ahead and... I'm going to lock myself in the Dynamax Cannon and the Venusaur, uh, and I'm going to get in my Incineroar here. I'm probably just going to get Presbus Bladed, uh, but I should always tank that, and I think they want to try to go for a Sleep Powder on my Thunderous. Jessica Clavery, just see, I hope you're having a great Tuesday. Same to you, same to you. I'm a, I'm a tired boy today. Moxie Office. Dude, we're eventually not going to have the Oval Office. We're going to have the Octagonal Office. Or, for the least amount of comfortability, the triangular office. Rybot, thanks for the follow. Alright, hopefully we just catch uh <laughs> hopefully we just catch a uh, sleep powder on the incinerator with the safety goggles here. Which I think they're gonna do that. They didn't do it, did they? Please let that be the Groudon. I think that's the Venusaur. Guys, I think we might have gotten Nanade on. Well not not really, not really. Okay, yeah, it's the Groudon. We're fine. Uh, I Dynamax Cannon the Venusaur, so if I got this play right, I'm not in a bad spot. Venusaur use Protect. Ooh, alright. I really hope I can take this, but I think I don't. Depends on their build. Really depends on their build here. Alright, go ahead and Quake me. Oh, yo, we eating? Are we eating? Hello? Por favor? Okay, check this out. Check this out, check this out. No more Venusaur. Do they have a switch into this? Technically, I should always flamethrower here, unfortunately. Oh, I apparently I'm locked into Dynamax Cannon. <laughs> okay. Okay, um... I'm going to do that. I'm actually just going to go right back into the Thundee. Alright, there's their Incineroar, so they've not not forfeited Incineroar privileges, but they've they've definitely opted to go with a different uh, a different plan, you know? Like like they had a warranty on this thing if it wasn't going to get dinged up, they said, "Okay, I'm just going to send it out except the dinging upping." And, and it's going to be fine. Unless I crit, then it's gone. Moxie, what do you think is the most underrated mon? I'm using it right now. It's named Eternatus. And that's why. <laughs> and that's why. Check this out. I'm going to get right back in my Incineroar. 
And now I have to airstream. I 100% have to airstream this uh, Incineroar here to get this KO. They don't have many switch-ins to it. The Groudon's gonna be at minus two. They're not gonna like that. My Incineroar should always live a hit. And just keeping the Eternatus healthy is so, so good for my win con. Especially if they hard switch in this thing. If they hard switch in the Venusaur, they're not gonna be in a good spot. Watch him be Will-O-Wisp Incineroar. <laughs> I'm pretty certain they're just going to fake out the Eternatus slot, which is now an Incineroar, though. I could have knuckled. I could have knuckled, but I was a coward. Not really. I just definitely need the speed boost more than I need anything else. And I kind of hope this thing lives. Honestly, I would like to get up to plus two. Behold, fake outs. Yeah. Ow. All right, nice. I get the KO, and I should live this turn. And this is the last turn that. Oh, I got a crit. Sorry to my opponent if that mattered, but I don't. I don't know if it did. To be honest, probably. I mean, that's an incinerator. That thing lives everything. Max Rockfall. Pathetic damage. Go ahead, take your 20%. Wow, that, that... That seems roughly correct, funny enough. I didn't think I'd be that spot on. <laughs> that that seemed roughly correct. Alright, so uh, regardless of what happens, this next turn, I'm, I'm always going to make the same play. I'm going to max airstream whatever's on the left, and I'm going to parting shot the grout on. Unless the Zamazenta comes in, in which case my game plan changes just a bit. I'm hoping it's Venusaur, though. Oh, it's Urshifu. Uh, my, my game plan remains, like, the exact same. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and parting shot the Groudon. And max Urshifu the Urshifu, because I think regardless of what we do, we're gonna outspeed the Groudon here. And Urshifu can, like, Sucker Punch or Wicked Blow, but if it's not Sash, it's not living this. And that's fine, we're gonna break a Sash on the, on the Venusaur via sand at the end of the turn, which is honestly all we need. They detect perfectly fine by me. All right. I'm going to get in my Eternatus here. I'm probably just going to get Sucker Punched, if anything, I think. I'd like to keep this guy around. Um, I should probably just max Airstream and get right back into my Incineroar. I'm not too concerned with Urshifu, considering we have a Groudon in the back. And if I can get rid of Venusaur, everything's just going to be amazing for me. Get the Incineroar back in. I'm probably just going to get, like, Sucker Punched on the Eternus. This is actually kind of a scary endgame, I'm not going to lie. Wherever there's a Venusaur, there's a way, and that's just the facts. Alright, even if Groudon comes in, I have Fake Out next turn, so it's kind of whatever. Venusaur is probably going to protect. Sucker Punch, okay, they opt not to protect, which means I get rid of this thing, and it's probably just game. Nice. I get, The only way they would live that is if they were Koba Berry. And I now have Fake Out, so that's pretty awesome. This Urshifu is at minus two, so it's Wicked Blow is its only option to actually KO my Thunders here. Sucker Punch will never do it. I 
I'm at plus one speed on my Incineroar, which makes me think I can probably parting shot this Groudon. It's a little bit of a risk, but I don't really mind going for it. I really don't mind going for it, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and Brick Break into the Urshfu, because if I were to fly here, they would just protect. <laughs> And they're at like minus two on that on that Urshifu, I think. So I don't really care if they. Oh no, they're only, they're only at neutral. That's fine. Brick break. That's fine. I should get this parting shot off, which probably just win me the game. Nice. And here's where I end up sacking my Eternatus. I don't think Rockside KOs me from this range either. Especially if Eternus avoids there. Nice. Rockside does KO, which is a little bit annoying, but I kind of have a pin on this Urshifu. Um, so I'm just going to double into it. Yeah, I definitely have a pin here. Urshifu can't really protect. I can just go for this double attack. And they have to choose... You know, who to, who to sucker punch here. That's fine. They chose wrong. Uh, I think they're... Uh, they 100% should have sucker punched the Eternus, I think. But they forfeit this thing, and then it just becomes real easy for me to win. Blackwing King, am I taking questions? Yeah, I mean, like, I, part of the reason I live stream is so people can just talk to me, you know? I might miss it, you know, because there's a lot of chats coming in at certain times. But, you know, like I said, and <laughs> whose Groudon is embarrassing now? Whose Groudon is embarrassing now? Not mine. Mine, mine connects its Presbyterian Blades. GG Marcos Moxie Monday boosted. Oh, is Moxie Monday coming up? Moxie Monday is coming up. It's uh, the third Monday of each month, so it's in two weeks. Fun fact, Moxie Monday, like last month... Um, coincided with Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so I just didn't do it, because I was like, that's a little disrespectful. <laughs> I was like, I should probably not do Moxie Monday today. <laughs> How do you suggest making Salmons viable? Um, Salmons does really good with Intimidate. It just doesn't wall anything right now. I suppose it, it can kind of do good versus opposing Groudon, uh, if you, like, squint your eyes and cross your fingers. Uh, but I, I would say you're probably best off just running, like, a like a Life Orb Moxie set in this format and just spamming Max Airstream. Alright, nice. How would the games be if we brought back Megas with these mechanics besides Dynamax? I think Megas would be an interesting thing to see in Gen 8 if Dynamax was gone. I don't want them at the same time. I think Nene has been redeemed. Thank you for the Nene. Uh, if you don't know, Nene is like a really dumb running joke on the channel, and I love it. Nene is my favorite dumb running joke that we have. Uh, the Sacred Lead does amazing here. I'm just going to go ahead and lock that in. And yeah, um, basically, that's just a thing you can redeem if you have enough points. <laughs> and I'm going to mark that as complete because I now found out where my dashboard is. But how's everyone doing? Also, I think I missed a subscriber somewhere. We're at 71 subs now. I guess the notification didn't pop up yet, but thank you. Thank you for the sub. I feel pretty good about this matchup. Bro, what I tell you, Porygon 2 is a duck. Turtle Mania agreed. I heard Turtle Mania very clearly, and he agreed with me that Porygon 2 is actually a hamster. Highest ever got was 467 and I thought I was hot. <laughs> I mean, I think it's you can be proud of any rank you get if it's the highest you've ever gotten. And I think 4, 467 is like an amazing rank, to be honest. Yo? Yo? Are are they forfeiting their right to this uh to this to this here dog? I think they're forfeiting their right to this dog. I'm gonna go ahead and lock in Specs Flamethrower right now. 
yeah, I could Dynamax Cannon the Ho-Oh, but am I am I really gonna do that? I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Um I could also get in the Groudon and guarantee I get the one shot, but I'd rather just do this to really put the sting of a flamethrower on them. It's a it's a, a roll on bulkier variants, but on non-bulky variants, I believe this is a one-shot. I always forget. The flamethrower calc all I know is it one shots Calyrex Ice in the in the sun. Alright, there's the Dynamax. Glad I could waste it. Um, but I should be outspeeding this Hoa. Which means I am going to go ahead and go for this um, massive flamethrower. Watch them protect. That'd be so sad. I'm so sad. I'm so sad, guys. I just locked in flamethrower versus a Hoa. What kind of a player am I to do that? A bad one. I'm so sorry. There's the airstream. I mean, it, it kind of just bounces off the Eternatus, to be honest. Um, how do I go about this? I, I think I probably just preserve the Eternatus, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go hard into my... I feel safe getting the Groudon in here. Maybe again the thunderous. Let me think. I mean, I can just fake out, and I'll get the thunderous in on this slot. I just don't feel like having my Eternus take another max airstream. That's the withdrawal, that's fine. There's the incinerator. I kind of wish mine went first, but it's fine, it's fine, you know. It's whatever, I don't, I don't really care, I don't really care. We're pretty bulky Thundy, so we should eat this up all right. Do I wish I parting shotted? Yes. Am I gonna cry about it? Later. Okay, that didn't do that much. I mean, I should just be able to Dynamax now, and it's like all good. Parting shot into you. I'm actually going to go ahead and max Airstream into this guy right here. Because if the Zacian comes in, that'd be really nice. Best rank I ever got was 35, even though it was like an hour after Series 11 started. True, those early those early rankings do be a little bit inflated. Whenever there's a new season and I see everyone's like, man, I hit number one on the ladder. I'm like, congratulations to you and the 287 other people who got up at midnight to do that. I'm proud of you. <laughs> That's fine. I got my airstream off. Oh, that definitely matters. That's that's definitely going to matter, guys. All right, so here's the poggers part about this play. Here's the poggers part about this play. Um, they can't speed boost the Zacian anymore, and I'm permanently faster. Alright, um, what's on their team again? I don't think they're staying with the ho -Oh under any circumstances, to be honest. Uh, I'm in a parting shot. I really don't think they're staying with the ho -Oh. It's It's such a... It's such a greedy play. I'm in a parting shot into it, and I'm going to go for a um, max knuckle into this and sin. Oh, they stayed in. Oh my god, don't you dare burn me right now. Don't you dare burn me. I might have lost off of that. That was so greedy. I could have taken that away from them. Don't burn me. Ah, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Or at least I got the parting shot off.
I can still win this, it's just not likely. Okay, here's my idea. Um, as, as a smart player, they should be expecting a rock slide. But I'm not smart. I'm stupid, which is why I'm going to go for this. I'm going to flamethrower into that ho -Oh, expecting the Zacian to come out into it. And I will go for the rock slide. And if I get this play right, we have a solid chance of winning. Switch out into the Zacian right now. I have no reason to go for P-Blades, and you know it. Listen, even, even if I lose this game, if I get this play right, I will have won the game in my heart. And that's truly all that matters, isn't it? Isn't it? I, I got the play wrong. I got the play wrong. We lose. Unless, you know, unless unless I survive this. Don't get burned. Okay. Rock slide? It, it, it's, it's not over yet. Okay, they're faster. It's over. I mean, unless I can just tank a behemoth blade, like... We did it, guys. The ho -Oh is dead. Yeah. I mean, I could have gone for the max lightning onto the ho -Oh, but I really didn't think they would stay in there. I was trying to get a leg up on them while I could. Uh, likelihood of winning this? Pretty low. Pretty low, I'm not gonna lie. They have to do everything wrong. Okay, here's how I win. Please don't fake out anything on my side of the field for the rest of the game, okay? Thank you. One bird with many stones, yes. Here's how I win. My opponent, please do not fake out anything for the remainder of the game, and I will send you many hugs and kisses. Thank you. They faked out something. You chose wrong, sir. Wrong. Well, not really. I mean, I'm just gonna get B-bladed next turn on my on my. Or I'm just gonna get um attacked on my <laughs> on my ground on next turn with a with a grass move. But maybe I can KO this thing. And the miss. No. Okay. Yeah, it just lives. Okay, good game. That's gonna be a forfeit for me. I mean, I still have the Incinera, which I guess is sort of a win con if I can Swords Dance up with it. Or if I can Swords Dance up with my with my guy. We've been trying to make these plays a little bit too aggressively, in my opinion. But I'm going to continue to be extremely aggressive in Swords Dance right now. Switching your Incinera. You know you want to. You know you need to. Switching the Incineroar for the uh, for the Zacian. You need to believe me. I'm I'm a is I'm a Zacian expert. I've lost to it at least a million times, so I'm like an expert. Staying in and going for a fighting move is throwing. Ooh. You don't like the seven stages of grief? I'm I'm in denial right now. Yo, did I get it? Surprise, White Herb. Did I get them with the surprise white herb? I think I got them with the surprise white herb. Boom. Guess who's at plus two? Not you. Me. Marcos. Me.
and I got that recovery. Harsh Sunlight faded. Didn't need it. I needed it. I think I did. Dude, if I was Adrenaline Orb, that'd go crazy. Uh, on the bright side, they are forced to basically let me go for a Flare Blitz on the, on the, on the right slot. I mean, I always have to protect here, unfortunately. Hopefully they just Grassy Glide this turn. I think they want to do that. But I always tank the Grassy Glide on the following turn, which is really poggers. All right, Grassy Glide me. You're panicking now. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, we got him. <laughs> I think that's game, guys. I think we won. <laughs> I think we got him. Please KO. Oh, uh, not quite, not quite. Um, good news though. I shouldn't drop to this hit, like regardless of what they do. And uh, Rillaboom are typically assault vested. Rock Slide is technically safer than, than Precipice Blades, but you know what's even safer than that? Just attacking, just attacking. I'm at plus two, so I should always KO. Tank it. Tank it, Don. Prank him, John. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, at least we know we connected on you. That's game. No chance. I'm going to tell you guys my secret. After the game's over, I'm going to tell you guys my secret to winning that game. You will not believe what my secret is. You guys will be infuriated that you didn't even think about this. Pokemon is a mental war. You are actually going to be very mad at me. <laughs> yeah, they have, no winning. they have no way of winning this. Or I, I guess they do, I guess they do. I mean, I could I could miss the Precipice Blades, technically. Um, but if they don't have a fighting move, then Incineroar just beats them. Oh, they, yeah, they don't have a fighting move, so I should... Oh, that's not good if I miss, because they crit me. Groudon, I swear. Okay, all right. Are you guys ready to find out my secret to winning that awesome mental war? I forgot my Incineroar was alive and nearly through the game and was genuinely surprised when I was able to switch it in. I'm very tired tonight. You know? Didn't we face this guy already? Yes, yes we did. This is the first opponent of the night and he's gonna be the last opponent of the night. Alright, Will. William. I want to go Venusaur, to be honest. Let's do that. Have you ever considered using Eterna Beam? I did at one point when this thing wasn't choice specs, however, Eterna Beam with specs is just... It does less damage than Dynamax Cannon does to Dynamax Pokemon, so I might as well just click Dynamax Cannon. Anything that Eterna Beam, that Eterna Beam one-shots and leaves me locked into, I two-shot with Dynamax Cannon. Okay. I personally, personally am of the opinion that I can go Incineroar here and just Dynamax Cannon the Groudon. I'm not going to Dynamax yet. Let's see how bulky this thing is. Let's see how fast it is.
You might be saying, Marcos, didn't you see how fast it was on lead? No, I did not pay attention. <laughs> I did not pay attention, so I'm going to hope it's really slow. Basically, I just don't want to get snarled here. Howl, that's fine. It didn't raise the defense, so I'm cool with it. They're basically at neutral. Actually, no, they are at neutral. What am I saying? Oh! Get out of here, Groudon! Will, you can disconnect now. <laughs> <laughs> Will, my friend, feel free to disconnect. <laughs> Venusaur? Okay, no, this is fine. Yep. We did it, guys. Pretty sure he called the flamethrower. Yeah, I mean, like, I think he probably thought I was going to Dynamax or something. Listen. Crits from Eternity has hurt a lot more than crits from anything else. All right. Let's see what our final ranking is. That was a pretty good battle to win. <laughs> that was a pretty good battle to win as the last one. One fifty-five, guys. That's a pretty high rank. That's 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 a pretty high rank. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty proud of that. Pretty proud of that.